Alrighty folks, it's Tuesday now and we're testing out a theory. We've been going to the Hope of the Valley on Thursdays because they have uh, their 25% off sale on Thursdays, but they also have it on Tuesdays. And in theory, you would think that people would drop off their donations when they're clearing out stuff on the weekends. And I'm hoping that by Tuesday morning, which is right now, the new stuff from the weekend will be out on display. So that's the hope that we're gonna get first dibs on the stuff that was all donated on the weekend. And we might even just switch our whole schedule up and focus on coming here Tuesdays rather than Thursdays. But let's see. So already I can see a difference. There are people waiting here. So maybe Tuesdays are the days and I've just been missing out. I just walked in, it looks like they're moving. Bunch of baseballs. Literally, though. I don't know who this guy is, but 17 bucks. Oh, So they were doing a full remodel in there. They're gonna paint all the walls and put up different shelves. So felt a little odd in there, but hopefully it'll be done soon and back to your usual business. I ended up just getting the Alpha Industries jacket. It goes for like 50 to 60 bucks, 25% um, off of that price. So that's good. We paid 13.50 in there. And I grabbed these Lululemon shorts for myself. They're little snags, so I might just list them and see how it goes, but I also might just wear them for some running. Okay, so based off that, it would feel like we failed in that experiment as far as Tuesdays being better than Thursdays, but I don't want to judge it based off today because of all the renovations they were doing. If there's a mess out in front, then there's probably a mess in the back too. I don't think they've even processed a lot of the stuff from the weekend this week because most of the finer things that they have that are more expensive that they hide behind the register were all gone. So I don't know where they hid those or where they put them, but I'm thinking they're in the back somewhere for now until they finish the renovations. Uh, which means they're probably not processing a bunch of stuff either. So it just felt like a weird day. Not only is the weather a little gloomy, but um, it was just odd in there. There was stuff laying around. There was drills going off. It was just it was just a lot of things going on. So uh, I don't want to judge it off that. I will be back on Thursday to see how the renovations are going. And then I'll also be back in coming Tuesdays to see if there really is a difference. But All right, folks, we're at the J6 Flips Mothership now on Wednesday. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys real quick the poly bags I use. I just get a 220 count box of these, 10 by 13. A lot of things fit in there. Most of the clothes items do. Um, and if they don't, I have other options for it. But that's what I usually go with just to keep it simple. Okay, so we actually have seven orders sold, but of course two of them are waiting for the payment. So let's just go ahead with whatever is ready to ship. These are some Brooks, uh, like Grinch Green Ghost. Um, they took a while to sell because they have a funny color to them. The dirt would not come out of it. So it's got a funny hue, but as you can see, they're pretty clean. So perfect for anyone that wants some green shoes but doesn't want to invest and probably not even wear green shoes very often. But this is a Roan shirt. Uh, that brand is very nice just to find if you can find it. Pick this up at a retail store. So this is a retail arbitrage flip. I think I paid 10 bucks for it and it sold 49.55. That's free shipping or shipping included, I guess. The Brooks I had paid six bucks and those sold for 32.55. I've had those a while, I just wanted to sell them so I took an offer on them. And this is a like a Polynesian hula, Hawaiian dancing kind of skirt. My wife used to um, perform. Zero cost of goods, obviously, and it sold for 30 bucks, so that's free shipping. Now, this is an M&M visor, the real Slim Shady. Finally found it on eBay and paid 40 bucks for it. I paid five off of Facebook Marketplace. I had it listed for like 80 bucks for the longest time um, because one other one was listed around there and one had sold close to that, but um, it didn't sell for months. So I finally was just like, hey, let's just get this thing out of here. So 40 bucks, I'll take that. And probably the coolest flip of the day, this Winston tire thing, the cooler with the uh, cup holder, like the car cup holder. Um, picked this up at the Salvation Army for I believe eight bucks and I knew it was cool. These alone, 
these old dot totes um, coolers are already cool enough so that's what this is here but this extension was a nice little add-on I hadn't seen before and a big name brand like Winston Tires I thought would definitely attract attention and it did surprisingly some guy said hey I have a brother-in-law that I want to buy this for. He is Sam Winston III, the great-grandson of Sam Winston who created Winston Tires. So I thought that was pretty cool. He hit me up. At first, I thought he was fishing for a discount or something, but two minutes later, he had already purchased it. Full asking price, 90 bucks plus shipping. So great little flip there. Um, that just shows you big-name brands and cool items uh, kind of working together. Definitely bring that nostalgia, or maybe someone's family member will find it for him. So. All right, folks, we're here at the Super Thrift Store in Reseda on Sherman Way. Uh, but let's get in here and see if we can find some stuff. All right, so I grabbed this on the way in. It's a little cutter, so it's like 20 bucks. But it might ship funny, so I'm not sure about it yet. Came upstairs first. <laughs> Definitely grabbing these little Dodger kicks. Vans collab shoes are always good. I don't think Maximum will fit in these. If not, it'll be a bit in, but at least flipping them. Here's just a look at how vast this store is. Uh, there's a bunch of t-shirt guys down there, so came up first. Here's like a puzzle thing. Looks like it's been open, but... No, it's sealed. The box is just beat up. Hmm. Maybe get this from Axe Mule Build. Or flip, we'll see. So this is one time the price is actually going to be cheaper than what it would be at the bins. Because the zipper works fine. Oh, it's torn. That's going to stay. But Figs is a good brand of scrubs to look out for. At a dollar it would be worth it. With a hole like that, not worth it. Speaking of scrubs, here's some more. I didn't know Carhartt even did scrubs, but apparently they do. We got a little logo there. And this is new with tags, which is the only reason I'm considering getting it. New ones, XL, this same color, sell for about 20, so I think I'll go ahead and get this. I'm looking through all these jackets and stuff. I was considering this one, but I don't think anyone really wants this. It is a cool piece though, but it's probably just gonna end up going into the trash or something. But right above, these O's should catch your eyes. These are UFOs, they're like uh, recovery sandals for runners. That's how it's spelled. Uh, I'm not sure about the condition on these, but I might have to just get them. I think someone would still just be willing to rock these because they are super soft. Unfortunately, there's no info on size, but, oh, there you go. Men's 13, let's look it up. So all the ones on here are in significantly better shape than the ones here, so I'm just gonna leave them. So this is weird, this logo, I'm not even sure what it is. Apparently it's a Looney Tunes item, large, but there's no other markings on it. Is this supposed to be someone's face or something? I don't know. Another snipe off the top here. Adidas Love Unites hat. A couple of sold. Four bucks. It's really clean. Almost like it's never been worn. No hairs floating around. So I think I'll grab this. Probably get at least. I think well, the recent one sold for 28 So if we can get 20 I'll be stoked with that. Check out this Nike jacket. It's got a very Texas kind of vibe. Texas track, maybe. Uh, the things are rolled up, but they seem fine. With the three stars, four stars. Swoosh. Old school tag in there. A cool dangle piece. In great condition, so I'm gonna have to get this. These look familiar. I thought it was a Lulu. What is this? Oh, there's a hole out of the way. There's a hole right there. Check out this old school Adidas windbreaker. Got the three stripes with the red and the blue. It's got a hood. I don't even know when that would be from. How old that tag is. It's got that light, very light material. This screams like 70s, but I wouldn't be able to verify that. The zipper works. Any holes? You know? Cool. So these Ferrari jackets are usually pretty popular, but this one's got two stains that 
It looked like glue or something, so I'm just gonna leave it. I don't pick up a lot of uh, Tiger Woods stuff anymore, but since this one's Nike and Dodgers, I'm gonna have to get that. Two bucks. All right, so we spent 40 bucks. Um, the coolest thing I got was this thing. I'm probably gonna send it to my buddy, my buddy Pat. He's a Rams fan. Um, it looks new because it's still got the tag thing on there. So, uh, but obviously I wouldn't be able to sell it new on eBay that way. But this thing's sick. He's one of the last Rams fans left. <laughs> All right, folks. So it's a beautiful day in sunny Southern California. Doing some outside listing just because it's so nice today. Um, more of the outside jerseys and things like that are what I do out here. Uh, the rest will be inside, but um, obviously a nice week of finds. Not a lot. This is some of it, but not all of it. Um, still not a lot, though. I feel like the one uh, opportunity I'm really missing is maximizing my own inventory. Uh, I've been meaning to do the cross-listing uh, route. I've just been lazy to do it. It's tedious work doing one at a time. I have over 700 items in my store, so it's going to take a while, but I think it's about time that I finally sit down, cross list them all, get them done, and uh, see how that helps my store because I have a lot of eyes on eBay, but a lot of my items that I do find I feel like would be better off selling on Poshmark or Mercari. So we'll just make sure they're all there for people to find. So that's gonna be the next step. Oh.